a hundred world leaders paid tribute to civil rights icon Nelson Mandela. The former South African president passed away at his home in Johannesburg last week of lung failure. On hand today for the memorial, President Obama and former presidents Bill Clinton, George Bush and Jimmy Carter all there to attend that national ceremony. Mandela touched many even after his death. He continues to bring leaders together. Today we saw President Obama shaking hands with Cuba's President Raul Castro. Today's memorial reminded those of a man who spent 27 years behind bars for fighting against apartheid and seeking peace and justice. In terms of what he stood for is still relevant today as it was then when they started the struggle then, uh, years, years back, even before the liberation. Those ideals are still relevant. Those ideals are what each and every country in the world strive for. Nelson Mandela's body will now lie in state in the capital city of Pretoria until Friday. He will be buried in the village where he was born on Sunday. Dignitaries from around the world took part in today's memorial with a few major exceptions. First, the Queen of England, Elizabeth II, and former Cuban President Fidel Castro could not make the memorial because of health reasons. The Dalai Lama could not get a visa to visit South Africa, most likely due to pressure from China. Security reasons kept Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu from making the trip. And the Pope also not in attendance because it is against protocol for him to go to funerals of world leaders.